Hello, this is a quick video on how to factory reset a Zyxel EX5601 and then either a dash T0 or a dash T1 or probably any of the other uh, dash variants of this router is how to factory reset it to its default settings or uh, in some instances your internet provider will have um, preloaded on some, some of their defaults it will go back to those settings. On the back of the router near the power socket is and the, the on off switch is a little reset hole you need a paper clip or a pin or something that's sharp and pointy to put in there normally a ballpoint pen won't do it so just be aware of that it might feel like it's pressing it but ballpoint pens often aren't sharp enough to to do so what i will do is i'll put this pin in the back and i'll let you know when i'm going to press it and you can see on the lights on the front what it does when it reboots and, and resets so ready to press that now and I'm going to press it now. You hold it down until the power light starts flashing which it has done now. I'm now going to let go and I've undone that so I've now not got anything pressed on the router. All the lights will go out and now it will start its normal boot up procedure. So this will probably take about 90 seconds and then you'll be back with the router on factory settings. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriptions really do help. Thanks very much. And I'll leave this recording how long it takes to boot up. The router has now started up and gone online. It hasn't yet started its Wi-Fi, but that will be a few seconds away. And there we are. Thanks very much.